update on this winter weather and we're dealing with so many different elements here including the wind. Exactly and it's an angry Lake Michigan those waves 8 to 14 feet tonight. That's why we have the Lakeshore flood advisory up. We also have the cold air stuck in place. Boy our high temperatures today were a lot different than yesterday when we made it into the 50s in many places. In fact we only saw a high today hovering close to 20 degrees in many places. We saw that in Harvard from Gilbert in all sub 23. Elton and Schaumburg gives us 20 and in Gurney 21 degrees for a high temperature today. So really temperatures were cold with that Arctic air moving in. In Michigan City, Marty picked up about an inch of snow and had 25 degrees right now for a current temperature there. And you know, a little fresh coat of snow coming from Brenda in Laporte. So in Northwest Indiana getting a little lake enhancement there and Elton sharing some color with his sunset tonight. Well, as we move through this weekend, maybe you have the day off Monday because of the King holiday. We're tracking a new clipper system by that time. So in the meantime, for tonight, we have some snow showers along the lakefront. We'll keep those in the forecast tomorrow for northwest Indiana, mainly in the morning. Then we clear out beautifully in the afternoon. Sunday's fine until the sun sets. Then around 9 or 10 o'clock, we're going to watch for that next system to come in, bring snow Sunday night right into Monday. So 23 was our official high today. We began with 20, so not a big spread of temperatures whatsoever. That Arctic air parked in place. It's staying put here for the weekend. In fact, we will have the lakeside snow for now because of those northerly winds and we will keep a feels like temperature anywhere between zero and 10 below zero tonight. The reason for that is the Arctic air is here, but those winds are stiff out of the north. Sustained winds at 35 miles per hour at Gary, 15 for Waukegan, 22 mile per hour winds now in Kankakee, creating a feels like temperature of five in Chicago, feels like 12 below Minneapolis, 10 below now in Des Moines. So let's look at the future cast wind chills because maybe you're going out tonight. Well, around 1030 tonight, almost everybody on the Illinois side will be below zero for a feels like six below in Waukegan. And then in the morning when the sun comes up about 13 below in Waukegan, 14 below McHenry, 13 below in DeKalb. So a cold start. We are still tracking that weather system along the eastern seaboard, rain along the coast, snow and ice on the west side of the front. So that system snow not affecting us. It's the winds out of the north that are generating that lake enhancement that we're seeing now on the Illinois side that will swing to the Indiana side during the day tomorrow. So we still have that Lakeshore flood advisory in effect for our communities of Cook, Lake and Laporte counties and Porter County as well. Then we have a wind chill advisory further to the north and west around the Twin Cities. The snow is headed to Cleveland and Buffalo tonight. The next system though will be this clipper system as it moves in Sunday night right into Monday. So future cast here's 10 o'clock Sunday night. Then as we get into the holiday on Monday, we are off to a snowy start and most of the snow will be on the front half of the day before conditions improve for us. So our low temperature tonight is going to hover around nine but again, plan for a feels like temperature of below zero for tonight and even during the day tomorrow. And then as we move through the day tomorrow, we'll spring out the sunshine. That'll feel pretty nice for us. And even into Sunday, a nice day till that snow moves in for the holiday on Monday. But cold right through the period. Finally, temperatures above average next Friday. It'll be a while. Yes, <laughs> our saving grace is that sun. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary Kay.